For practice it, self check 5.4 while loop mystery 2, we're given the following method and we need to write the output for each of the following calls. We're going to start with 19, where we have our int is equal to 19, and we have our y is equal to 0 in here, and then we have our while loop, and it's while the modulus of our x to 2 does or is equal to 0. So this will run as long as this is equal to 0. When we first start this loop, this loop, we're given an odd number as our x, and the modulus of any odd number is always going to give us a remainder. And in this instance, it'll give us a remainder of 1. So this while loop will not execute for this first uh, method call when we pass in 19 as a parameter. So we're just going to print out our x, which is 19, and then a space and our y, which is 0. So if we put that in here, we can see that we've passed that test. So now we will go on to the next method. We then pass in a 42. And the modulus of 42 um, to 2 is going to equal 0 because there is no remainder. So we will have a y++. We can write this like this. We have 42, then y++. So y is equal to 1, and now our new x value is going to be the 42 divided by 2. 42 divided by 2 is then 21. Now we take 21 and we try to find the, or we try to see if the modulus of that to 2 is equal to 0. And if it is, we're going to be in our loop again. Well, since this is an odd number, we're going to have the remainder of 1. So we are breaking out of our loop here. And we look to our print line statement. So we're printing out our x, which at this point is going to be 21, a space, and then our y, which is going to be 1, because it only runs through in this loop. So we'll have 21 space 1, and that passes that test. So we can move on to the next one. Um, we'll get rid of this, and next that we are passing in is a 48. So x is equal to 48. And we'll be in our while loop. We'll have the modulus of 48, which is going to be 24. Or the modulus of 48 using 2 is equal to 0. So we'll go into our while loop. y is equal to 1. And then we have x, which is equal to 48 divided by 2, which is 24. Then we take the modulus of 24. We see that's 0, so we're going to be in our loop again y plus plus is going to give us that y is now equal to 2 and now we take our x which is currently 24 and divide that by 2 that will give us 12 now we go back and we see that 12 modulus 2 is equal to 0 so we can go in this loop again we're going to have y is equal to 3 and dividing our current x by 2 will give us 6 going in our loop again because 6 modulus of 2 is equal to 0 and we're going to now have y plus plus that will give us y is equal to 4 we then have x divided by 2 and so x will give us 3 now that we have 3 we can't run this again because this is an odd number and the modulus of 2 is not equal to 0 it will be equal to 1 so we can't run this so we are printing out our x which is currently 3 and then our y which is currently 4 so we will have 3 space 4, that passes that test. So we can get rid of this and do the next method. In the next method we are passing in a 40 and in this 40 we know that since it's an even number that we are going to have the modulus be equal to 0. So we are going to have y plus plus from 0, which is 1. And then 40 divided by 2 will give us x is equal to 2. The modulus 2 of 20 is equal to 0. So we will have y plus plus, which will be y is equal to 2. Then x is equal to 10 because x divided by 2 is 10. Then we'll take 10 and do y plus plus, which will be y is equal to 3 and we will divide that by 2 so x is equal to 5 
and after we have x is equal to 5, we look back at our loop, 5, and we see that since the modulus of this is not equal to 0, we can't run it. So we'll just use our current values. We'll use 5, we'll have a space, and then 3 as our answer. That passes that test, so now we will move on to the final method call where we have or where we're passing in 64 for our method. So we have 64 being passed in. If we take the modulus of um, 64, we see that it is equal to 0. So we'll have y plus plus, which is equal to 1. Our x is going to be equal to 64 divided by 2, so x is equal to 32. And now we'll have 32, y plus plus, y is equal to 2. Dividing x by 2 again will give us 16. Then we have 16. This um, modulus 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to be in this loop. We have y is equal to 3. And then we have x is equal to 8 because we're dividing that by 2. Now we have 8 as our x. And the modulus 2 of this is equal to 0. So we're going to be in this loop. We have y is equal to 4. We have x is equal to um, 4 also because 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then we have 4. y is equal to 5 now because we have y plus plus. And then we have x is equal to 4 divided by 2, which will be 2. And then we have 2 modulus of 2, and the remainder of this is none. So we'll be in our loop again, and we have y is equal to 6. Now, um, dividing 2 by 2 will give us 1. So we're starting out with 1 here. We know that 1 divided by, or modulus 2, so divided by 2, does give us a remainder. So we will not be in this loop. And we will just be printing 6 space 1. Or actually, it should be the other way around. It's 1 because it's printing out our x space and then our y, which is 6. And if we put that in practice, it, we can see that all of those have passed our tests. So this is the answer to this self-check problem.